inequalities so for over 3 minus 2x is less than 1 minus 2 thirds x is less than or equal to 2 subtract x hence list the integral values that satisfy the inequalities so that is the question let's go straight to the solution now to evaluate this inequality as you can see this is a combined inequality it is a combined inequality and therefore we have to extract two inequalities from these combined inequalities. As you can see it has got two inequality signs. The first one is here, less than, and we have another one here. How do we extract this? I'm going to write the whole of this inequality again here. So 5 over 3 minus 2x less than 1. Now subtract 2 thirds x less than or equal to 2 subtract x the first inequality that you're going to extract is the one that begins from this point up to that that should be the first inequality so 5 that subtract 2x less than 1 minus 2 that x then the second one that you're going to extract we shall extract that one from this point all the way to the end. So this one will be 1 subtract 2 thirds x is less than or equal to 2 subtract x. So these are the two inequalities that we have extracted from the single or the combined inequality that has got two inequality signs. Now these are the two that you're going to solve for x and then we shall get the integral values. So let's go straight to the first inequality. So the first inequality is 5 thirds. So 5 thirds subtract 2x less than 1 subtract uh, 2 thirds x. So while solving these, we treat that uh, inequality sign which is less than just as an equal sign. Only that we don't indicate is an equal sign. So bring the like terms on the same side, like the like terms that I've got x, like this one. Now we bring them together. So I'll take them to the right hand side. So then uh, I bring the whole numbers to the left hand side. The one on my fraction, the one without x. So 5 thirds. If I bring 1 to the left hand side, I get negative 1. Then um, this you have 2 thirds x. If I take negative 2x to the right hand side, I get plus 2x. Then from there, you work out this. Uh, 5 over 3 minus 1. You get 5 over 3 minus 1. This will give you the calculator. 5 thirds, 2 thirds. This one will give you 2 thirds less than. Then negative 2 over 3x plus x will give um, 4 thirds. This is a 4 over 3x. So to solve for x, of course, you're going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 4 thirds. If I multiply both sides of this uh, inequality, uh, by reciprocal of 4 over 3, I'll get that I'll get x. Then here, reciprocal of 4 over 3 will be 3 over 4 times 2 thirds. And this one uh, should give, um, if you can see, this will give a half. Or you can write it uh, like this x, uh, this is the same. A half is less than x, means x is greater than a half. So that is um, the solution for the first inequality. Let's go to the second inequality. So the second inequality is uh, 1 subtract 2 that x. 1 subtract uh, 2 that x less than or equal to or 2 minus x to 2 minus x. So we'll solve this. So 
bringing the values that have x on the left hand side i'll get negative two that x plus x less than or equal to then this will be two and i take one to the right hand side you get negative one so working out this negative uh, two thirds x plus x get a third x less than or equal to one and therefore x is less than or equal to three if you multiply both sides by three to remain with x now these are the solutions so we have the first solution that is x is less than or equal to three and the other one was x is greater than a half so the other one was x uh, the other one was x is greater than a half it was like that so these are the two now let us answer the question list the integral values integral values that satisfy the inequalities which are the integral values integral values are whole numbers both positive and negative integers without fractions without decimals so to get these you can draw a simple number line 0 1 these are 2 and 3 just a simple number line that has got these values accommodated like three is accommodated in a half so a half is somewhere here so i have a half so x is greater than greater than you're going to shade uh, the right hand side the right hand side of that uh, number line the circle will not shade it because the half is not inclusive then um less than or equal to three we shall shade this uh, point here where you have three because three is included in that solution so the integral values therefore that is a positive negative whole numbers or integers without fraction or decimals will be the values of x will be one half is not includes included there because uh, x should be greater than half so half should not be part of the answer so one two and uh, three so these are the integral values one two and three satisfy that inequality and that is how you're supposed to solve that question